A man in the US has been awarded $450,000 because his employer threw him a birthday party he didn't want. This is such an interesting story, so let's unpack it. This company has a culture of throwing birthday parties for their employees. This guy knew about that and contacted them and said, please don't throw me a birthday party because I'm going to have a panic attack if you do. The very next day, on his birthday, he's sitting there at lunch and they surprise him with a party. He freaks out, has a panic attack, and goes and eats the rest of his lunch in his car by himself. He contacts his manager and says, why did you do that? I asked you not to. He comes back in the next day. He gets brought into a meeting where they admonish him and tell him that he's not a team player and that his reaction to the birthday was not cool. And he did not enjoy that. I think he got angry and he left. He got given two days leave. And when he came back to work, they fired him. You're fired. Thank you. Let's take a look at what was actually happening here. The first question we need to ask is, well, who was this birthday party for? Was this for the employee? Was this for the company? Or maybe was it for both of them? Well, let's start with the company. Why would the company be doing this? Well, maybe they want to do something which makes their employees feel good so that they will stay at the company for longer and work harder. Maybe they do it because they want to create a fun and engaging workplace environment. It sounds like there's a lot of reasons it could be for the company. Let's see, is it for the employee as well? Well, like basically, if they're into birthday stuff, then for sure it could be for the employee as well. It could be for the employer and the employee. But what happens in this case where the employee says, I don't want this. So in this case, is it still for the employee when they don't want it? And the answer is definitely no. If someone does not want the thing that you want to do for them, the gift that you want to give them, then it is not a gift. So ultimately, it was for the employer and not for the employee. Now, I think this is really interesting because it helps us to see in our own lives where we are doing something we think is for someone else, but it's actually for ourselves. Let's go back to the company and understand what was happening from the perspective of the wheel of consent. The company was taking an action that was for them it was not for the employee. So if they did that within the consent of the employee, that would be the taking quadrant and the employee would be in the allowing quadrant. But what happened was there was no consent from the employee and the company did it anyway. That puts the employer in the shadows of the taking quadrant where you're taking the action for your benefit without the consent of the other party. That puts the company in the realm of abuse of the employee. So I think that the judge was utterly correct to uh, judge in favor of the employee and to award them that money. Let's take a quick look at how the company could have brought this into integrity. So if there's something that's really important to your company and your company culture, you can put it in the job description. You can talk about it in interviews. You can say, hey, here we have this big culture about birthdays. Uh, are you into birthdays? And if the potential employee is not into birthdays, then maybe they're not a good fit for that company. So this is totally okay to have something like this in your culture. If you ever have a job interview for Disney, you will definitely not get the job unless you utterly, utterly love Mickey Mouse. The next thing I would suggest is that you look at, well, why is it that we want to do the birthday thing? And if it's because of engagement and making a nice workplace and making someone feel appreciated, and you ask and your employee says, no, please don't do that, 
this is great information because it then means you can find some other way of doing that which is in consent with this employee. And when someone tells you no to something, this is great. It means they respect you enough to tell you the truth and you can find some other way of achieving this same goal. That's all from this video today. If you want to learn more about boundaries, check out my website. I've got a free download where you can get started straight away with a game that will teach you about your relationship with boundaries. And you can join me for live workshops. Thanks for watching. Ciao.